Hello, welcome to the virtual video Atomic Fest fundraiser for Detroit, a benefit for Detroit local music venues. I'm Smitty Smitty. We put this benefit together to help keep the doors open and the businesses running for our beloved Detroit music venue. Our Detroit music community needs our help. Please enjoy this virtual video and donate what you can. We have three amazing individuals from Detroit who are going to host this event and help us achieve this goal. They are Andalisi, Jimmy Doom, and Michael Halloran. Please welcome them, and let's get this Motor City Love Fest started. Hi everyone, I'm Andalisi, and welcome to the virtual video Atomic Fez fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area music venues. You know, we all love to see and hear music together, and boy, it's been a long time since we've been able to do that. But when the time comes, that the doors open and all of us can gather together again safely. We want to make sure that there are places for musicians to play. And that's what we're doing tonight. So a number of incredible artists are gathering to perform for you tonight. Smitty, Smitty has done an amazing job of pulling us all together. And I'm really happy to be here to help. You can help too by donating whatever you can. It's up to you. The giving level is your choice. No donation is too small. Don't, big donations are great and anything that you can give will help us toward this goal. So you will see a URL on the screen tonight for GoFundMe, or you can give through Venmo, but we just hope that you'll give. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm the runner up for America's Next Top Model, Jimmy Doom. Welcome to the virtual video Atomic Fez Fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area music venues. It's a collaboration with you that will go to help keep the doors open, the businesses running, and the music flowing for our stellar and incomparable music clubs, bars, and performance spaces in Detroit, the greatest music city in the world. Fuck this virus. We have over 30 Detroit area bands and artists who have generously, freely, and in some cases drunkenly given of their time, decibels, and raw power to help raise funds and accomplish our goal. Enjoy this virtual video and please generously donate whatever you are capable of giving. No amount is too small or too big, but make it big. Give what you can and not too small. Thanks so very much for tuning in. Pop out those checkbooks, make a contribution, and thank you from the bottom of my eardrums. Rock out, Detroit. We are here to raise money. My name is Halloran. I'm going to be joined by Jimmy Doom and Ann DeLisi. And a cavalcade of stars, as they say. A fucking cavalcade. I've never seen a cavalcade, but I just know that tonight's going to be a fucking cavalcade. So, uh, please, donate some money. Enjoy the show. Uh, all the links should be just below my nose here, like right, right about here. The link should be right here down in the bio. Donate some cash. Uh, enjoy. Happy New Year. See you next year. And, uh, and remember one thing. Seriously, we do love you. Every single one of you. Except for Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't love everybody. Jimmy loves himself. His beautiful self. No feelings. 
This is the virtual video Atomic Fuzz fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area music venues. You know, in Detroit, this kind of stuff happens where everybody pulls together and music is so important to all of us. And we want to make sure that all these great musicians that you're hearing tonight have venues to play in when the time is right. So thank you so much for donating. And if you haven't yet, you can through the GoFundMe URL or you can go to Venmo and do it that way. Well, this next artist you're about to hear is a beautiful songwriter and the voice of an angel and the kindest heart ever. She has been teaching other people to write music for years as well. And we are so excited that she could be part of this virtual performance tonight. Please welcome Audra Kubat. Oh, mother of light, mother of days, you wait for the words that we promised to say. We stand in your shadow but must sit by your side To hear your song in the winds blown wild And I trust in the world you have given to us I will fight with my bones and my fists if I must To shatter the walls they put up with fear Break all the rules just to keep her here Mother of mountains, mother of fire I climb your highest ridges and I light the pine To burn down the kingdoms created by greed And we'll dance on their ashes, watch the power of the sea And I trust in the world you have given to us And we'll fight with my songs and my words if I must To tear down the fences and take down Draw the lines that divide us in half. Oh, mother of freedom, mother of hope. I'll pull back the blinders and I'll cut all the rope. I'll smash all the windows, give away all my clothes. And I'll walk through your valleys, get your mud on my toes. I trust in the world you have given to us. My fingers to nail if I must. And I study your body, full space in your name. If all that I am, I will work for the change. Oh, mother of oceans, mother of grace, please won't you tell me that it's not too late? Your bodies of water soon won't run clear. And the men on the hill, they just don't seem to care. And I trust in the world you have given to us. Fight with my heart and my mind if I must. We'll gather the people, we'll march to the drums. We'll stand in the way so they lay down the guns. Oh, mother of glory, mother of man. I wait at your doorstep and I offer my hand So take me and will me and call me your own I'll stand and protect you till my days are all gone Cause I trust in the world you have given to us Hello, I'm Don Buzz. Doesn't matter whether you're a musician or a fan or an audience member, the thing that unites all of us is the belief that music transforms the soul and brings people together and raises our spirits like nothing else on earth can. In a year like this one, we need the power and the salve of live music more than ever. But the pandemic has transformed the live music business into a disaster area. Thank you for supporting the Atomic Fez fundraiser and helping to support Detroit's music venues. Happy New Year, everybody. 
We are so thrilled to have this next band. We are thrilled. We are turgid. We are excited. We can't even believe they said yes. Formed in 1996 in Royal Oak, Michigan. They're punk. They're metal. They're disco. They don't even know what they want to be, except they wanted to be here. Mr. Dick Valentine on the marimbas. Mr. Johnny National on the Korg Poly 6. Mr. Tate Nucleus on the recorder. Mr. Dave on the slide trombone, Mr. Rob Lower on the kazoo, and on the small of my girlfriend's back, Mr. Hypercube Bonanza. Ladies and gentlemen, doing Panic Panic, this is Electric Six. <laughs> Song number two is new. Detroit, I'm Rick Nielsen, and I love Detroit. So, uh, there's a New Year's Eve benefit for the Detroit local music venues, raising deeply needed funds for our Detroit music venues. 
Do what you can do. Keep these venues open and support our live Detroit music scene. Donate, pour a drink, enjoy the music. Happy 2021. Rick Nielsen, Cheap Trick, love Detroit. Woohoo! New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, everybody. My name is Michael Halloran. I'm going to introduce Ricky Rat right now. What what can I possibly say about Ricky Rat that has not been said about him before? He invented a style. That style probably continues today. He probably looks exactly like he did the last time I saw him 30 plus years ago. I'm sure everything is, you know, the weird thing about Ricky Rat's style is he developed a style. Everybody adopted it. Everybody from, from uh, uh, Motley Crue to Flock of Seagulls to Haircut 100 to Bauhaus, even fucking Bauhaus adopted Ricky Rat style, and a lot of people don't realize that. So make a donation right now. There's a link just below, somewhere right around here. Find that link, make a donation, and enjoy Ricky Rat. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here as part of the Atomic Fez fundraiser to help benefit Detroit music venues. Um, this is my new single that will be coming out on Detroit label I-94 recordings in the spring. And this is called She Feels Like a Good Thing. She's a special artist. She colors from inside. Her feelings are a canvas. And that she never tries to hide. She's a gentle poet. Her words are just too true. She never knew she wrote them. Or the power that they do. She feels like a good How's it going? Rob St. Mary coming to you sort of live from Happening Hamtramck, Michigan. You know, the great thing about New Year's is the ability to look back on the year that was and to plan for the year ahead. And one way to help make the year ahead even better is to help support our Detroit area music venues during this event this evening. You know, there's an old saying, it's kind of a cliche, that 
tough times don't last, but tough people do. And if you've been to these venues and you know the people that own them and run them, you know, you're some tough people here in Detroit, but not scary tough, just good tough. So chip in a few bucks and help as you can, because when we all give a little, we all get a lot in return. And that'll especially be true when we can go out once again and enjoy our favorite artists and musicians and venues and toast each other and just have a great time like it all used to be before this raging pandemic. So I thank you and all the best to you for 2021 and beyond. Yep, that's one of three chords that I actually know, but you're about to hear someone who knows a lot about music and can play a whole lot of chords really, really well. She's a multi-instrumentalist and one heck of a singer, and she's performing with the Firewalkers and they're one heck of a band. Here's Laura Mendoza and the Firewalkers. Buick here. Calling on you to help save our stages in Detroit and everywhere. Uh, tune in to the video virtual Atomic Fez fundraiser on December 31st, New Year's Eve. And uh, watch a lot of cool performances, see a lot of cool guest hosts, and uh, most of all, help save our stages. Um, you know, I, I've everyone but a ha small handful of my friends I've met in these small clubs. Clubs like UFO Factory and Outer Limits Lounge, The Magic Stick, PJ's Lager House, uh, all of these places are very important to us. They're very important to the musicians, they're very important to the communities. Give a little, give a lot, give an average amount, give support, show love. Love you. Bye. Hey, any of you out there remember the Jerry Lewis telethon? This is almost like that, except I'm not Ed McMahon. I'm not half in the bag, but you might be half in the bag. And that means you should write a very generous check to us so that we can help keep live music venues in Detroit open. That's what it's all about. We have so many beautiful, wonderful 
creaky, grimy, crazy Detroit music venues, and a lot of them have hosted our next performer. She was in the Vertical Pillows. She was in the Roommates. She was in the Motor Dolls, the Candy Bandits, the Candy Band. She was in Heart. She was in Rush. She was in Pat Benatar. She's been in everything but my kitchen. She's a media darling herself. She wrote this song, World War III, inspired by the pandemic. It was recorded at Temper Mill Studios by Dave Feeney, one of the greatest recording producers in town and definitely the greatest mustache. The video is done by Paula's daughter, Becca Messner. Time out for trivia. Guess which really good-looking Detroit actor Becca Messner didn't cast in her movie. You got 30 seconds, Detroit. Okay, time's up. I lied. Screw that. Please welcome Paula Messner. Everybody, this is Ko Molina. I'm here asking everybody to please show some support for our independent Detroit local music venues. Without these venues, the tradition of amazing Detroit music is going to suffer. Without venues, there isn't going to be places for bands and musicians to play. It really is a dire situation. So many of these independent venues are now in prime real estate areas. So if we can't save them, they could be turned into luxury condos or worse yet, parking lots. So before that happens, let's join together and please give what you can. Anything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And as a musician myself, I thank you. And I love you all. Have a good night and save our stages. What's up? I'm back again. Michael Skill. I've known Mike Skill for Jesus. 
First of all, before I talk about Mike Scale, let me tell you a quick story, because I just played this band called U2. Nobody had heard of them before. I played them off a cassette I got from this guy in Figures on a Beach, uh, whose name is Chris Ewan. And Chris Ewan had to give me a cassette because he didn't trust me with the fucking vinyl. He said, you cannot take my vinyl, I'll give you a cassette. So I was playing cassettes on the radio at DET. And I played the cassette and Mike Skill calls up. He didn't say it was Mike Skill in the beginning, but he called me up and he was, we were talking about this band called U2 and I kind of figured out it was Mike Skill calling me because he was talking about the guitar tones and the textures and the voicings and all this shit. And we became friends after that. We actually played in a band together at one point. One show, it was me, Mike Skill, John Crenshaw uh, from Marshall Crenshaw's younger brother, and uh, the ex-members of The Plugs, too. Uh, we, we minus uh, Jeff Shoemaker for some fucked up reason, but we played one show at Paychex. I wish I had it on video because it was probably the best thing I'd ever done in my life at that point. So anyway, Mike Skill has got a new thing out now. He was a founding member of The Romantics. He's got a band called 67 Ride. He played with Bobby East, Jimmy Marinos, and the rented old storefront. Then they did The Motor City Rockers, and The Romantics played their first show on Valentine's Day of 77. Now he's back in The Romantics, finally, after billions of years of being on it, and the current members are Mike Skill, Wally Palmer, Richard Cole, and of course, Brad Elvis. This is new from Mike Skill. I love you, Mike Skill. Come see me sometime. Thank you.
Hey, this is Brad Elvis, drummer for the Romantics and the Handcuffs. I'm here with my Cuffs bandmate, Chloe F. Orwell, and we're asking for your help to keep Detroit's live music venues open and surviving through the pandemic. Every little bit helps so we can all have music venues to return to and perform in when it's safe to do so. And we love playing Detroit, so let's do this. Mask up, stay safe, and donate. It's Fez time. That's right. Thank you again for watching and listening and donating. You can still donate by going to Venmo or the GoFundMe URL that you see on the screen. Well, as you know, this is our virtual video Atomic Fez fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area music venues. And who's responsible for all that and working like crazy to make these good things happen? Smitty Smitty. And he is about to perform for us, but let's tell you a little bit about him before we do that. So, Smitty Smitty hails from the Motor City and started playing in Detroit punk rock bands in the late 70s. He played in The Blind and then formed L7. He went on to play drums and figures on a beach and then formed Smitty Smitty in 2017 with his first Detroit performance for the Detroit All-Star Garage Rock Punk Review 3 in 2018. From their debut release, Just a Modern Guy, here's Smitty Smitty and the Fez Tones with Big Bad Boy. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Jimmy Doom. If I was Sonny Elliott, I'd have a little peninsula to poke and it would make a noise, but I'm not Sonny Elliott. Maybe I'll poke my own crotch. There we go. Happy? I am. We're trying to keep Detroit Rock City music venues open, and you're helping us, and we appreciate you. And we appreciate this next band. They're doing two songs for the price of one. Two videos. Meet you on the other side and never catch me. I don't know what order. You'll figure it out. You're smart, Detroit. This is a quintessential Detroit band. Even though they think they're like Big Star, which is arrogant as hell. But I, isn't being arrogant part of being from Detroit? We got Pete Ballard on the One Loose Extra Onions. We got Dave Lawson on the Verners. We got Ben Luckett on the Better Made Potato Chips. And we got Eddie Baranek on the Poonski. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Scrappers. You ready, Eddie? You ready, Dave? Yeah, I'm ready. What about you, Pete? And you, Ben? Well, then count it off.
you on the other side. Hello, I'm John Chemansky. And I'm Kelly Jean Caldwell, and we own the Outer Limits Lounge. Please show your support for our beloved Detroit music venues. The Detroit music scene is known worldwide for having some of the best bands and artists and influencing some of the best music on the planet. Please help us keep our essential music venues open, alive, and thriving. Donate what you can, a little, a lot, anything is appreciated. Stay safe, and we look so forward to seeing you all again. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? Time to make a donation right down here. There's a link or just below in the bio, make a donation. This is what we're doing, raising some money here. And we're going to play a bunch of bands doing their things. Cinecide, they've been around for, fuck, four million years at this point. Cinecide, this song is called Vegetable or Thing. Gary's in the band still, of course, it's his fucking band. Skid Marks, Diane, Jim. The video's done by Gordon, got Gordon, Christopher Jordan. God, I'm such an idiot sometimes. Christopher Jordan did the video. Christopher Jordan, by the way, also directed one of my favorite films from last year. And uh, you need to see that as well. I don't know what it's called, but uh, I'm just going to give him big ups now because uh, I fucked up his name the first time. Cinecide, please make a donation down here. I love you, Cinecide. You wrote a song about how much you hated the radio back in the old days. So fuck you, Gary Reichel. But I love you, Gary Reichel. <laughs>
Hello, ML Liebler here in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Um, I've been asked and I am happy to oblige uh, by saying a few words about the music venues in Detroit and their importance historically and still to this day. Um, eventually, we'll all be back playing and performing on stages throughout the Detroit area. And uh, we want to sustain those places so they don't go away. Uh, when you think back over history, you know, you've got Hastings Street, Joe's Records, where they recorded uh, John Lee Hooker and C.L. Franklin's sermons and, and Paradise Theater. And then you come up Woodward to Greystone. And, and then over on Wayne State, a little dip into the Freezer Theater and Old Miami and Alvin's and the places that we always had our events. And, uh, and, and then further on up when you get into the Royal Oak Music Theater or Magic Bag um, and all the places in Hipster, Ferndale. Um, and I don't want to forget the hipster places in Hamtramck like uh, my good friend Arts Lilies. I should... Lilies. Their proper respect. So... Uh, would you dig around and look in your Social Security check for a few bucks? Uh, you, know, you would have been spending it getting drunk anyway at these places. You save money. Let's share it. Let's do what people in Detroit do, especially Detroit artists, do and have always done, and that's share. We share. We pull ourselves up. We are used to that. We know there's no... A knight on a white horse going to ride in and save everybody. What we do know is we got a few bucks here, there, everywhere, to quote the Beatles. So uh, help us out. Help out this uh, important endeavor and uh, toss a few bucks in. I'm sure there will be a place on this video that tells you where you can donate and get it done. Get it done so when this is over, we get back to work. Kick out the jams, people. Kick out the jams. Hey, thanks so much for watching and thanks for donating. And if you haven't yet, you can buy Venmo or the URL that you see on the screen through GoFundMe. You can support Detroit area venues as we try to keep them open and that we can gather together when it's safe to do so. So what am I doing? I'm reading Carolyn Strio's book. It's a wonderful book and she's an incredible artist from here in the Motor City. Not only is she a poet and a lyricist, she's a wonderful musician who has been part of the Detroit fabric for years. She's performing here with her husband, Scott Daly. Here's Carolyn Strio and Scott Daly. Damage done to me 
I'm Terry Blackwell, otherwise known as K Dog, in the D, which is Detroit for the uninitiated. We're having a public service announcement right now. What we're trying to do is get donations and contributions to keep venues alive during the pandemic that worked so hard to keep the bands I was in and many other of my friends were in, including Philly, Twisters, Bobolet, A-Mom, otherwise known as Eligible Mothers. So keep Detroit music alive. Contribute. Thank you. Love you. 2020 has been spooky as fuck. But this next band has been spooky as fuck for decades and decades. Formed in 1981, they're like a monster movie come to life, for real. They've been mining pop culture way before anybody. The depths and the heights of pop culture, 60s AM pop, 50s sci-fi films, EC comics, not DC, EC, get it right. And uh, this next song that they're about to do for us on New Year's Eve, Detroit Rock City, is called The Tingler. It's inspired by a 1959 William Castile, Castle, it's, uh, some dude named Bill made a movie called The Tingler. And it was presented in Percepto, which was kind of like uh, sense around sound, if you remember that. I'm dating myself, but I've been dating myself for a long time. Uh, this band is Creepy Rick, Chris Flanagan, Bill Bowen. They are Detroit legends, and I love them. Get creeped out by the 3D Invisibles. Haunted Halloween greetings. We're the 3D Invisibles. Scream for your lives! It's the Tingler! <laughs> Mike Marshall here. I was born in Detroit. I've lived here my whole life. And this year, it's been just over 50 years that I've been playing bass around Detroit and other parts of the country, too. But, you know, Detroit's got a really rich musical heritage. All kinds of great stuff. Of course, everyone knows about Motown, but some great jazz, blues, and rock and roll. And one thing we always had in Detroit was all kinds of venues to play at, whether they be theaters, bars, or small clubs. Now, because of the COVID-19 virus, a lot of our clubs are hurting. 
not only the musicians, but the club owners. And we need those places to play so that we can work out new material and try things and see how it goes out in front of an audience. It's critical. So during this COVID-19 period, I know it's rough, but if there's any chance where you can go out safely and you feel good, try and support the local music scene because we need these clubs. Without them, we've got no place to work on our trade. Thanks. Greetings, people of Detroit and points beyond. If you're watching this uh, on the World Wide Web, thank you very much for doing that. We're raising some cash here. So if you go to the link below, somewhere right around here, or maybe this way, maybe down here, maybe, maybe it's up here. I, I don't really know where it is because I'm just sitting in a room in California and I'm just trying to help people out. This band is called Little Billy Lost. They're a uh, full-on rock power outfit. They've uh, been playing for decades of rock and roll pedigree. All these members of the band have been around for at least 75, 80 years, some of them almost 100 years. And all four members hail from previous rock bands such as Fred. Fred Pinot was in the Atlantics. He did national tours with Roxy Music and Cheap Trick. Now, I don't think his band opened up. I mean, he actually did a puppet show before Roxy Music and, uh, and for Cheap Trick. He was actually doing goat yoga with Cheap Trick, which is pretty cool. Smitty Smitty uh, figures on a beach L7, and of course, Smitty Smitty and the Fez Tones. He's also in, uh, in Little Billy Lost, and uh, Little Billy Lost, of course, would be a fucking much better bet if he wasn't in the band, because he just tends to wear that fucking Fez and piss everybody off, and, and, and that's why we love him. Smitty, I'm joking. We, we fucking love you. Keep the Fez. Keep the Fez. Steely Dan really appreciates it. James Melanson of uh, Pop Gun is also in this band, and Patrick Moynihan, an Irishman, a fucking good Irishman. He's in the band as well. He's in Two Saints and Five Point, except for the fact that uh, Two Saints and Five Point uh, uh, have fired him. He just doesn't know. They, they told me to tell him in the video that he got fired. So anyway, thanks. Let's raise some money.
Scott Boatwright here, DJ at WHFR. Please help support our beloved Detroit music venues. Your contributions will help keep the doors open and the music venues running. We still need them to be there when this pandemic is over. I don't know about you, but one of the biggest things that I miss during this pandemic is live music events. Give a little or give a lot. Any amount helps and is greatly appreciated. Detroit music venues need your help. Thank you. Well, you're watching our virtual video Atomic Fez fundraiser to benefit Detroit area music venues. And you guys have been awesome sending money to make sure that these venues are gonna be around and can open their doors when the time comes and the world opens up so that you'll be able to see a bunch of these musicians, not virtually, but actually on a stage and you can share that experience with your friends. Well, coming up next, we've got Tiger Bomb's founding member, Linda Mandolin. She's a Detroit girl and a member of Detroit's Inside Out. She is a Detroit Music Awards Hall of Fame winner and was in the band Fabulous Disaster. She currently plays in Tiger Bomb and Crystal Canyon in Portland, Maine. Here's Linda Mandolin. <laughs> We are going to keep Detroit music venues alive. Together we're going to do it. Ah, 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 staying alive. I know you watched that Bee Gees documentary. And speaking of staying alive, this next performer is a beloved and respected veteran 
of the Detroit punk rock music scene going way back. I remember him walking into a venue in Ann Arbor when I was working for a band, and we were thrilled that he came to see this band. He was a founding member of the Cult Heroes, has a reputation, a well-deserved reputation, as one of the best, most exciting performers. He's been around since, like, the MC5, for real. I'm not bullshitting for once in my life. He's performed at all three of the Detroit Garage Rock punk rock reviews. This video was taken at one of those reviews by Mary Gage in 2017. In fact, I think I was the host, along with my colleague, Mike Halloran. And uh, this, I think you guys want to sing along to this one. I know you want to sing along while you're writing a check to keep Detroit music venues alive. Here, doing I Want to Be Your Dog live, Hiawatha.
Hi everybody, I'm John Sinclair. Please show your support for our beloved Detroit music venues. The Detroit music scene is known around the world, as we well know, for having some of the best bands, artists, and music we have ever experienced. We're having a hard time because of the epidemic. Please help us keep these essential music venues open, alive, and thriving. Do what you can. Anything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so very much. Hello, everybody. It's uh, New Year's. My name is Michael Halloran. You've been watching some amazing music here, and that's going to continue as well. Sterling, a guy that we've known in Detroit since, you know, probably the day he was born. He was born in a suit. Uh, I think that is what happened with Sterling. He actually came out of uh, his mother's womb in a full-blown Fucking suit, vest, you know, everything, tie, you fucking name it, Sterling had it on. This is a song called Superfly. It was written about him by Curtis Mayfield in 1972. Curtis Mayfield had not yet met Sterling, but Sterling knew the song was about him because in 72, Sterling was like probably not even a year old. And Sterling's on lead vocals. Uh, Jarrett's doing the rhythm guitar. I met Jarrett. How are you, Jarrett? John Morentic is, uh, is also on here doing some lead guitar. John is the brother of my old buddy, Mike. And uh, Mike used to host Radios in Motion with me years ago, and uh, we remember him today. Rest in peace, Mike. And uh, Ben and Jeff round out the band. The song is called Superfly, written about Sterling, Detroit. I don't think you knew that, but make a donation now, and I'll teach you the ways of the world. Look at the moonshine 
Hi everybody, this is Jarrett from Jet Plastic, along with uh, Sterling, local Seedster slash Impresario, and Steve Kowalski from uh, both The Reelers, and you may recognize him from PJ's Lager House. Uh, that being said, COVID uh, has been devastating on our music community, and we really appreciate your help in uh, you know, raising money for venues and getting this all together for people like, like Steve. Steve? Well, you know, I uh, worked at PJ's for a good amount of years, and then I just didn't have any work anymore, you know. Uh, pretty much did sound there, and then there's no shows anymore. That's it. And I can't wait to work again. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to. Good call. I mean, we had a lot of fun in these venues. Uh, the, the bands that played there, the people that worked uh, in the kitchens, on the bar, you know, servers, bartenders, whatever. You know, these people have lost their jobs. But we realize we realize that you know things are going to come back, and uh, it's just a matter of time. And I'm, you know, we just can't really wait to. To be able to work with the people that we used to work with, and it's pretty much gone, unfortunately. So we really appreciate what Smitty Smith's done from Figures on a Beach and and the Fire Kings and all the projects he's been been involved with over the years, including the All Star Review, which has done three of those here in Detroit at Hastings and at PJ's. So we're looking forward to, um, and we really appreciate his effort. We're looking forward to seeing open venues again in a in a, in a healthy environment. At least we have somebody keeping it all together. And uh, we all look forward to seeing you uh, fairly soon at a venue near you. Fingers Happy crossed. Happy New Year. Happy can't New wait, Year. Can't wait to hear people rock again, man. Yeah. Tell me about it. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that you're seeing and hearing. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated as we do our best to keep uh, Detroit area venues alive and well for when the time comes that we can gather together again safely and listen to music. I can't wait for that. Well, we'd also like to thank all the musicians who have been performing tonight. And our next performer is Anissa Leah. She is a singer and songwriter from here in the Motor City and provides a new interpretation of American popular standards from the 40s to the 60s. Her work is inspired by history and refined for today, and her song selection provides a crossroads of rhythm and blues, jazz, Motown, and other groups from the era. Here's Anissa Leah.
everyone, it's me Anissa Leah here and I'm super excited to be able to support this event, the Virtual Atomic Fundraiser for Detroit, to help save our stages and to help music grow. I hope you guys come and support this event and I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I'll see you guys soon. We're gonna save Detroit music venues. We aren't gonna let nobody die. We need our venues to stay open. We're going to make it happen. And helping us make it happen. A couple of legends. Three. Three is more than a couple. Three legends. Doing a combination, a little mashup of the MC5's version and John Lee Hooker's version of Motor City's Burning. Along with a poem called Ain't Nobody's Business while we try to save the rock and roll business in Detroit. It is my great pleasure. It's a fucking honor. A true honor. My friend, who guess they say got up early in the morning to do this video, and I don't believe it for a minute, she was still up from the night before, on guitar, Rock Queen Zarina, Mary Cobra, on guitar, Rock Czar, Jeff Grand, and on the poem, activist, poet, legend, and the man who made legal marijuana happen, Mr. John Sinclair. This is Motor City's Burning, Ain't Nobody's Business.
Hi, I'm Gary Reichel from Cinecide. These clubs, bars, and venues in Detroit play some of the greatest music in the world, and they're fighting to exist. So help them out, contribute through Venmo or GoFundMe, and make sure that they stay alive. They thank you, and we thank you. Hi, I'm back. Michael Halloran. Whatever that title says down here, don't fucking believe that shit. But do make a donation. The donation button might be somewhere up here or down here in the bio thing. Let's talk about the A-moms. Algebra Mothers, also known as the A-moms, they have returned to make a big splash in Detroit's original punk scene in the late 70s and early 80s. Known these guys for a long time, used to play them on the radio all the time at DET when I was there. And anyway, they're back. They've been rediscovered by Third Man Records. They're happy to release a brand new song. It's called House on Fire, so Happy New Year from the A-Moms. I love these guys. God, I hope they still look as young as they did back in the old days, because, man, they were some good-looking motherfuckers, let me tell you that much. I love all of them, every single one of these people. Enjoy.
Luis Resto here. Please give to your Detroit musical venues. Make a donation. A lot, a little. It'll all help. And we can use all the music we can get. Detroit, there is no place like it. No place in the universe. So give right now, please. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us. You know, you're watching all of these musicians play virtually, which is great. However, our goal is to make sure that they will have places to play live and in person when the world opens back up. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're raising money to keep Detroit area venue clubs alive and well. And you can do that. Any donation size works. You can go to Venmo or the GoFundMe URL that you see on the screen. This next performer has been a part of the Detroit music scene for decades. He's part of the fabric of this town and has promoted musicians the entire way along actually launching his own label in order to do that called Funky D Records. Tonight he's backed by some of Detroit's finest. Please welcome Tino G's Dumpster Machine with the song I Need Drums for Christmas. Little boy, tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Oh ho ho! This is Spaz from the Cadillac Kids. And this has always been a season for giving. 
and what better way to give than to the Detroit music scene? They are in need of our help right now. Music is always healed. Now it's our turn to heal the music of Detroit. The Detroit music scene needs us. So dig deep and make a donation. A lot of people need this income. Waitresses, bartenders, promoters, lighting, lighting tech, road crew, sound people. So many people depend on this. The musicians. Let's all pull together like Detroit always has. Detroit is Rock City. Let's come together and make this happen. Please give. I thank you in advance and so does Detroit. God bless every one of you. Hey kids, you having fun yet? Not as much fun as you're about to have. Grab that brass monkey in amaretto, pound it back. Our next band is a staple of the Detroit punk rock scene. Have you ever gotten a staple under your fingernail? Well, you're about to. Featuring members of the Bomb Pops, the Hormones, and the Macomb County Jail Class of 1998, please give a warm Detroit welcome and write a big check. Give generously. Drink generously. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the Zot. Hello, everybody. We're the Zots from Detroit. We'd like to thank Smitty and the Atomic Fez Fundraisers of Detroit for putting on this special event tonight. We're going to do a little song for you. This one's called When It's Over. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Stay safe. Have a happy new year. See you soon. We love you all. 
Thanks, Smitty. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Bobby. And I'm Sean. And I am Paul. And, and we, we are, are the Zots. Please show your support for our beloved Detroit music venues. The Detroit music scene is known around the world for having some of the best bands, artists, and music we've ever experienced. Please help us keep these essential music venues open, alive, and thriving. Do what you can. Anything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so very, very much. And Happy New Year. Stay happy safe. Happy New Year. Peace. Hi, everybody. My name is Michael Haller, and I am here to introduce some amazing bands for you on this uh, New Year's Eve thing. Thanks to Smitty Smitty for inviting me to do this. Uh, I know most of these musicians personally. Um, some of them I actually owe money to, so I apologize for that in advance. Um, Nikki Corvette and the Romeos. I don't know, owe any money to Nikki at this point. I, I need to borrow something from her. This song is called Born to Run. Before you watch this in its entirety, you can make a donation. It's all right down here. There's a little link either right here on the screen or the link is somewhere. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's not. Nikki Corvette. The song is called Born to Run, not to be confused with that shitty song by Bruce Springsteen. This is her own original song. Welcome. See this album cover? It's Chris Richards and the Subtraction. It's one of my favorite album covers. Thanks again to everyone who has been giving and donating through GoFundMe, you can see the URL here, or through Venmo. All of your dollars are gonna go to keep Detroit venues alive so that bands like Chris Richards and the Subtractions and his band, The Legal Matters, have a place to play when the world opens up again. Chris Richards has a brand new album coming out in 2021, early in 2021, with The Legal Matters. He's here to perform the song, Please Make a Sound.
fantastic musicians in this town. Detroit was built on music, man. Yeah, cars are great, but uh, everybody making those cars would have gone nuts without music. This next guy, been around for a little bit. He's a great musician, a fantastic artist, and a really good guy. A friend of mine, I'm proud to say. Uh, he put together this little project. You'll know by the name that he put it together this year. The song is called Sleepyhead. It was recorded in Mary Cobra's living room, which begs the question for me, how come Mary Cobra's not playing on the damn song, but I'm not in the band. We got Garrett on guitar. We got Mike, who phoned in his bass part. On the record, they're going to have Jimmy Bones on the keys. This, all together... Is Johnny B. Bedanjic and the Murder Hornets doing Sleepyhead? Woke up Sleepyhead, dreaming much too long. Tomorrow's Woke up Sleepyhead, the hours start to fade.
We were talking about the Romantics earlier, and Richie Cole, also still in the Romantics, and Meredith Lloyd Cole, not Lloyd Cole. That's funny because Lloyd Cole, also another musician, just fucking rolled off my tongue because when I see Meredith Lord Cole, it looks like Lloyd Cole to me. So I apologize, Meredith Lord Cole, for calling you Lloyd Cole because you're not, obviously. You're Meredith Lord Cole, and you and Richie have gotten together to do this track. And we're going to play it, but before we play it, Fucking make a donation. Thank you very much. I love you all. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for having us. Thanks for all of the Detroit venues. I hope this helps. Mr. Richard Cole, Mr. Josephina, and Mr. Pat Spina. And I'm Meredith Lord, and this is called Before You Go.
everyone. Thank you for joining us for the virtual video Atomic Fez fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area venues. Thank you for not only watching and listening, but for donating. And you can do that through the URL on the screen. It's a GoFundMe page. It's easy to do. Venmo works as well. We'll put your money to good use and keep people employed and keep these venues open so that when music can finally happen again in venues where we can be together and listen and watch, um, everything in Detroit will be ready. And so that's our goal tonight. So thank you again for watching and listening and donating. Our next performer is one of my favorite people. What a good guy and a very, very talented musician and songwriter. He did three albums with the Inside Outlaws, Dupe and the Inside Outlaws, and then went on to record a beautiful album called The Corridor. Please welcome Don Dupree. So for anybody that's feeling lonely right now, hopefully this helps. Crazy times out there, right? couldn't get a big cat for this because my heterosexual life partner Joe Exotic is still in prison. 
I'm Jimmy Domestic. This is my cat, Stripper. And we are here to introduce an absolutely amazing band. You may have heard of them because everybody in this town blows them hard. They are an in-your-face, animalistic rock trio formed in Vegas. They've been on the prowl, playing loud, wild live music with a bite, continuously staying creative, always something new to come. Kelly Tiger Sex on lead folks, K on guitar, Nate on drums, doing a Detroit original monster smash hit, dancing in the street. This is Tiger Sex. <laughs> everybody, my name is Michael Haller and uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to introduce the next band here, but before I do that, I'm going to remind you that you've got to donate some freaking money. I don't care if it's in ducats, if it's in pesos, just do some donation down here. Somewhere, well, maybe it's up here. Do you see, is it up here? Or do they put it down here? Somewhere in this little area right there, there's going to be a link and you probably can't click on that link, so you must do something like click on the link that's actually in the bio. And then there will take you to a place where you can donate your hard-earned cash. You know, you don't have much of it, but fucking make a donation. This is going to be a band called Two Lane Bridge. Greg Apro, my old buddy from uh, The Plugs. I used to play with him in The Plugs. Then he joined that crazy band called Rhythm Core and wrote some amazing songs. He's teamed up with this guy called Brad Stewart. And they're called Two Lane Bridge. Brad Stewart, Tim, Oscar, Larry, Phil, Takashi, and Randall all are playing this song. And I can't remember what the name of the song is. Oh, it's called Home. And that's where we should all be right now, home. And as Greg told me, home...
by the way, is where the musicians think of home. When they think of home, they think of the fucking stage. And that's why we're trying to get back to the staging of everything that needs to happen. We need to get back on the stages. These musicians need to get back on the stage. So make a donation. Check out that thing right there. Two Lane Bridge featuring Greg Apro from Rhythm Core. And it's a montage. You're going to fucking dig it. Watch this. Our first slow dance delta Your hair fell all around me Your face beneath a million lights So close to feel you breathe And I know that you got scars Oh, I know that you got scars That moment it was up Oh, that moment it was us You breathe life in me I never felt so free So take me home Oh, yeah I see my soul It's like we're dancing on the black keys That song we sang was new to us We both knew the melody And I know that you got scars Oh, I know that you got scars That moment it was ours yeah, oh, that moment it was ours. You breathe life in me. I never felt so free. So take me home. Oh, yeah. So much for joining us tonight. I hope you're enjoying all these great performances. I'm Ann Delisi from WDET and happy to be here for a very good cause. This is our virtual video Atomic Fez fundraiser, a benefit for Detroit area music venues. We want to make sure that when the time comes for us to gather again safely and listen to live music, um, that there will be venues in which to do that. Our next performer is Gwen Joy, and she is a Detroit artist who does spoken word performances dealing with the past and present. She has hard facts softened with abstract thoughts and emotions. Please welcome Gwen Joy. Eight Line Home, David Bowie. The tactful cactus by your window surveys the prairie of your room. The mobile spins to its conclusion. Clara puts her head between her paws. They've opened shops down west side. Will all the cacti find a home? But the key to the city is in the sun that pins the branches to the sky. I just want you to know out there in internet land that the outtakes of these are going to be way better than the intros that we're using. Hi, everybody. So, coming up right now, Dirk Kroll has been called a musical architect. He's like, I am pay me. 
Donate. Donate, people. Donate your money. I am pay me. Get it? It's an architect joke. I gave you an architect joke. Dirk fronts a seven-piece band, including keys, horns. He writes, arranges multiple genres of songs. He was awarded a coveted 2020 Detroit Music Award for Outstanding Rock Pop Songwriter. That must have made Tino Gross jealous. We kid because we care. He's currently recording new songs at Rooftop Studio. This song is Would It Be The Same. Marcy Feldman on vocals, Rodney Walker on guitar, Jim Amon on keyboards, Adam Brode on bass, Scott Culling on drums, Don Denniston on drums, Robert Reeves on horns, and the man himself, Dirk Crow. Would it be the same? One, two, three.
Hi, my little douchebagios. Are you having fun? Are you filling our coffers? I don't even know what a coffer is, but I want you to fill it because we want to keep Detroit music venues open, Jack and all the rest of you. That's the deal. We're doing it under the guise of rock and roll, but it, we really want your money. So cough it up. Thanks. Now, I'm going to let you behind the scenes a little bit. This is what they gave me to read. This is the info I have for blank. Come on, fellas, you got to do better. This band proudly calls Detroit their home. Yeah, we get it. Their mission is to put the rock back in rock and roll. Their mission? Who are you, Mother Waddles? You don't have a mission. You're in a band. The members of this band are Tommy T, Elrod Adams, his boy Elrod, Danny Allen, Kevin Yarmack, who I've played with before, and Faustino Badillo. Faustino Badillo is only in this band because Rich Corinthian quit the band three weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, doing Pirate Love Road Rangers, which sounds strangely like a different band at a motorcycle clubhouse, but this is Pirate Love Road Rangers by The Pandemics.
Hey, Detroit, I hope you are donating generously to our cause. It is our common cause to keep music venues in Detroit open. If you've never seen our next performer perform live, you must, you must get this chance. This is the 10-year anniversary of the release of his debut solo album, Rise of the Green Gorilla, on Sacred Bones Records. He always wanted to make a video for this song, and for us, he did make a video for this song with some weird cameo by a rabbit. And uh, this song is called The Traveler from a gem, a tarnished gem of the city of Detroit. Give it up, Detroit, Michigan. Give it up, world, for Timmy's Organism.
Thank you so much for tuning in and doing what you can to help support our beloved Detroit music venue. It's been my honor to put this together. All my love to Detroit, all my love to you, and thank you so very much.